Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, grace and blessings of the Lord be always upon you. Today in the first reading, we see a prophet, Prophet Jonah. He would rather die than see the people of Nineveh live. It sounds funny, but it is so. He would rather die, but see the people of Nineveh live. Many times, in order to justify ourselves, we go to such extents that we don't even have any calms when the others suffer due to us. We think condemnation of sinners is justified. There is a temptation of being proved righteous. The parable of Jesus regarding a master who pays the same salary, same wage for people who work with him starting from different points of the day. Some who come in the morning, some who come at the next hour and some who come at the eleventh hour who work just one hour of the day. He gives same wage to all of them. And those who came in the beginning who saw the heat of the sun complain and say, why are you being partial? And the master says, don't I have right to do what I want with what belongs to me. So we are not supposed to look at the good that the other is receiving and feel jealous or feel bad about it. Instead, we should feel happy when a sinner, when a person who returns at the 11th hour receives great blessings. Today, in the gospel if you look, Jesus teaches us how to pray. He teaches us the universal prayer, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We want his kingdom and his will to be done on earth, but not in our lives. And how will it be done in the whole of the earth if we do not want it to be done in our lives? Your will should be done, O Lord. Your kingdom should come in my life, in each of our lives. And when it comes into all lives, it will come on earth. And without willing and wishing your kingdom to come into my life, how can I just pray your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then we also pray that do not lead us to temptation. And one temptation that we have, dear brothers and sisters, is to prove ourselves righteous, to prove ourselves correct, even to the extent of proving the other as a criminal. If we are doing so, we are doing the same what that person, the tax collector, what that Pharisee did to the sinner who was outside the temple. Let us not be like that Pharisee who was inside the temple in the presence of the Lord, yet very far away from the Lord. He was telling the Lord, Lord, see how righteous I am. And look, look at that person outside, the sinner who can't even look up and look at you. Look, O oh Lord, how righteous I am, he said. But Jesus knew who was righteous. So dear brothers and sisters, let us stop judging people like Jonah did. And let us not only recite the prayer, Our Father, but live that prayer and be away from all temptations of terming ourselves righteous, but living a righteous life in the presence of God. Amen. <laughs>